Hello, my name is Neela Pushparaj. I am a watercolor artist. Most of my paintings are done on paper, but some are done on clay board. The first painting I want to talk about is the one with the rings and feathers. It is called Tribute to the Tribe, and it was done, I think, in Taos, New Mexico, but I was also at Green Valley in Arizona, and uh, the painting is a combination of the two tribal areas. The circles are the Arizona tribe, and the feathers are the uh, Taos tribe. They represent my admiration for the Native American people, and I was very proud that I was able to do a painting solely dedicated to them. The next painting I want to talk about is called Hillsides, and it represents an abstraction of hills as well as clouds and the foreground of fields. The one below it is called Ups and Downs and it's totally abstract. I like the color in the middle of it with the yellows and the reds. It brings out the grays and the neutral colors on the other side. The next two large paintings are related to the COVID epidemic. This one is called Pandemic Waning question mark 2021 and hopefully we will get over it by the middle of this year. It's more joyful than the chaos of this one which is pandemic roaring 2020. The jumble of colors and shapes is the confusion produced by the pandemic Coronavirus has affected 14 million people all the world over. And in the United States, we have lost more than 516,000 people. It is heartbreaking. And this definitely shows the chaotic management of this epidemic. This painting is called Circles in Circles. And one of my um, attempts to emulate the Mondrian idea of geometric shapes and colors, I was very pleased with what came out. But it's actually my usual way of painting, throwing colors on a wet sheet of paper and then picking out shapes one can see the mix of colors that have occurred and the concentric rings bring the whole painting to life. Yeah. This one is a favorite of mine. It's called a Zenscape. And if you come close and look at it, one can see a Buddhist temple right in the middle of it. And the hillside, usually the Buddhist temples are high up on the hills, and this is a, an abstract representation of a Buddhist temple. This one is called Winter Mystic, and actually the title was given to me by my youngest sister when she saw the painting. And uh, the shapes dance on the paper, and even though the colors are red, subdued, the winter motif of snow in the background helps the shapes to come out. This one is called Carnival, and the central shapes resemble some of the floats that you see in New Orleans during Mardi Gras, and very seasonal painting.
This one is called Blocks on Blocks and is a playful representation of a child's toys where the blocks are dancing in the air. This one is on canvas. It is watercolor. The carnival one is on clay board and it's also watercolor. My favorite painting is this one. It is called Kwanzaa and shows the colors of Kwanzaa dancing on a black background. The shapes go from large to small and draw the eye through the painting. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to talk to you about my abstract work. I hope to see you again in May when I do a show of roses in the main um, part of the gallery. <laughs>